Uh, glad I brought some coffee to wet my throat while I do my yapping. Today is the 6th of May, Saturday, 2017. Yesterday was the famous Cinco de Mayo, which Americans have embraced as one of their own celebrations. And lucky for them, it was on a Friday, so they could drink and drink and drink, probably stayed out all night drinking. They don't have to worry about having to go to work today, hopefully. <laughs> anyway, there's a misconception as to what this holiday actually is. And if you come from Spain, Puerto Rico, or any of the colonized Spanish uh, countries, they don't celebrate Cinco de Mayo because that is strictly a Mexican celebration and it's not even the independence of Mexico as many believe. It is the Battle of Puebla, which the Mexican outnumbered army was successful in defeating the French. And so that occurred 5th of May, 1862 and has nothing to do with the independence of Mexico, which is September 16th. So. But nevertheless, the Americans have embraced this holiday and it seems to have taken over. If you wish me happy Cinco de Mayo, I will accept it, but really it's nothing that I celebrate because it has nothing to do with our history. It's only the Mexican history. All right, yesterday the discussion was unending. Why can't I print 11 by 14 borderless on my Canon printer? Well, because you can't. You just can't. It is not included as a standard size at all. So if it's not a standard size in the driver, you cannot print two borderless in a Canon printer. Simple as that. The reason being is that the platen contains segmented sponges to catch the overspray created when you expand the image so that the print can be produced beyond the edges of the paper you have to catch that overspray onto these little sponges. Canon is more segmented. I'm not saying that the Epson is continuous, you know, infinitely, no. There are some sizes that you cannot print borderless either on the Epson, but you do have the capability of printing 11 by 14, unlike the Canon. Here's an 11 by 14 that I printed on the Epson 3800. Basically, it's the shot of the uh, forest behind my grandson's house late fall last year. And as you can see, it's edge to edge, beautifully done. And here is the one, the same image, loaded onto a 11 by 14 custom paper size that I had to create in order to even be able to print 11 by 14. And that's done on the Canon printer driver. If you have borderless chosen, you cannot even access the custom paper size, period. That functionality is grayed out. You have to have on checked the borderless option and so you create an 11 by 14 and sure you can load that cropped 11 by 14 image onto it and print it of course with the mandatory border and this is the minimal border that you have to have this was not expanded and the borderless was expanded a little bit by the driver as you can see there's less of the tree here than there is here how serious is that? To me, it means nothing. You just cropped off a meaningless little portion of the image. So if you are true, 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 out of your mind purist that you have to have every pixel, then of course you should never consider printing borderless because it's going to lose between three, four, five, six percent of your actual image. The edges are going to be expanded in order to be printed borderless. So if you are a purist, then you should not even consider printing borderless. What you do is if you have a perfectly cropped 11 by 14 and you want to preserve it edge to edge, even though you can do borderless on the Epson printer, it's still going to expand it. You're going to lose some of that image. So print it onto a 13 by 19 sheet of paper, perfectly centered, 11 by 14 in a 13 by 19, and then you cut off the borders. You cut off the extraneous white paper and you will end up with a perfectly cut edge to edge. You might accidentally cut off a row of pixels though because it is that if you're that much of a purist you might want to consider being very careful when you trim it off. But anyway that's the only way you can do that and there's really no other way. And they have built in these safeguards in these printers because people demanded 
borderless printing capabilities on these inkjet printers. And so the manufacturers, the designers, the engineers came up with these types of overspray catchers. In other words, the little sponges that are located on the plate. And, and it has to do with the spacing and what their capacity are. And that determines what size or what width papers you can actually print to in borderless mode. All right, that is it. I do not print borderless. I don't like it. The reason, of course, overspray. I think that is ridiculous to print beyond the edges of the paper, just so you can have a nice clean 11 by 14. I prefer to use a little bit more wasteful method of printing to a larger sheet and then trim it. But people demanded that, and it came out of the, when in the old days when film laboratories would produce prints, they all had borders. There was no such thing as borderless printing. Then these kiosk type processors in drugstores, in quickie um, camera shops where they had one hour processing, they had four inch wide rolls of paper and they created four by sixes borderless. Of course, they enlarged the image a little bit more, exposed it to the paper, and there was no ink involved, so there's none of this overspray business. And so people love the look of a borderless print, but they really didn't realize that they were losing image. Why? Because their cameras were actually including more image than you saw on your viewfinder. So you didn't think you lost anything to begin with. So the negative actually included more area or more image. So when it was printed uh, a little bit bigger in order to make that edge to edge print look flawless, you really didn't notice that you lost some image right, that you originally saw on your viewfinder. Well, inkjet printers come along and people remember that borderless look and they demanded it. So the manufacturers, designers, and engineers, they included that and they included the fix, which was that plate and sponge. That's what is used to catch that overspray. It is not a good idea. They know it's not a good idea and they know it's not good for your printer. But they don't care, they included it anyway because the public demanded it. All right, that is the only reason. All right, thank you once again. Please subscribe, share, and like. Don't forget to click on the show more on my video description. You might find something interesting in there. That way you don't have to email me and waste your time asking me to a link to, say, my ordering page for the PGI 29 cartridges or my refilling tips. And by the way, folks, the refilling tips for the Epson type cartridges. You can use them to either fill cartridges that you modify for refilling or to reprime refillable carts that have gone beyond empty and have lost their prime, okay? So make sure that you realize that this is only for USA shipping, okay? This set only sells for $12 plus $2 shipping that covers United States shipping. If you are in Greece or in Japan, it's going to cost you over 20 something dollars to have a $12 set of tips sent to you. And that just makes no sense. So I have made sure that I mark on my ordering area for that particular uh, article that is only for the USA. So be careful when you look. That way I don't have to then refund you the payment because you may not want to pay that much for something that costs about half. All right, so that's why I limit it to just USA customers. Something more expensive like the cartridges, then it makes sense to ship overseas. It's not such a huge uh, loss of money in just shipping. All right, so be careful, read that carefully. It says it's right there if it's for USA or if it includes other countries. Okay, that is it. Thank you so much for sharing and subscribing and liking. And the guy who always hits me with a dislike, thank you also as well. You're helping me actually, if you don't even know you're doing it, you're actually helping the channel. So keep on liking my videos. See you later. Bye-bye. Oh, happy printing everybody.